today we're going to be looking at sus2 chords. I'm going to be doing this in drop D tuning. That's uh, D, A, B, G, B, E. So I'm going to take that low E string and drop it down one step or two frets until it's in D. Uh, if you're not sure how to do this, play the 12th fret harmonic on your E string and it should match your open D. <clears throat> so sus2 chords, and the reason there's a very good reason we're doing this in a drop tuning, it doesn't have to be drop D, uh, drop C, whatever, any drop tuning will work. The reason is if we are going to play this in a standard tuning, it's a very difficult stretch to make. It's almost like you're playing a power chord on top of a power chord. So I'm going to start with my root note. Uh, in this case, I'm going to play three on the A. And then I'm going to add the fifth, as if I were playing a power chord. In this case, five on the D string. And then I'm going to make this stretch with my pinky. And I'm going to play seven on the G. So it's almost like I, I have a whole new power chord here on the uh, D and G strings. And that is the ninth that I'm adding, that note on D. Um, so it, it's a hard stretch to make, you know, all the way down the fretboard until you get to 0, 2, 4, it gets a little easier. So by playing in a drop tuning, we're able to do this with two fingers instead. So what we're going to do is play a power chord with one finger like you normally would. I'm going to start on five. And then we're going to add the ninth. Um, you can use your ring or your pinky finger. I'm going to use my ring. So in this case, it's going to be uh, seven on the D string. A lot of bands um, in the late 90s, early 2000s abused these chords to no end, uh, especially the hard rock and new metal bands like Linkin Park, um, Deftones, even some not so new metal bands like Foo Fighters uh, use this chord a lot. And it's also used in metal a lot, um, especially in progressive metal bands like Dream Theater, Opeth, especially on their um, like middle era albums. And there's a lot that you can do with this chord. Um, first of all, you know, you can move it anywhere. And it's not a major chord and it's not a minor chord. It's dependent on the other chords you're usually power chords that you're using the progression will determine what kind of chord this is. I don't want to get too much into the music theory behind it. I don't even understand it all, but once you've got this basic shape down, there's a lot that you can do with it. You can ride your open uh, E string and throw power chords in much like they did on uh, Everlong. And then you know, turn it into that sus2 chord. And once you have that down, you can even add another note on there. Um, it'll be the uh, octave to your fifth. I'm not sure what fucking note that is actually, but you can, if you're playing it with your ring, if you're using your pinky, I guess you'd have to bar it down, but you can take your pinky <clears throat> and add it right under your ring finger. Um, in this case, I'm on the G string. So I'm playing 5-5 five, five on E and A, and then 7-7 seven, seven on uh, D and G. And you're taking an already very fat, full-sounding chord and, you know, expanding it even more. So, yeah, sus2 chords, there's a lot you can do with them, a lot of people use them, and it's a very 
musical sounding chord. It's a very musical idea. And, um, you know, you can play around with that and move it across the fretboard and, you know, just kind of go from there. So yeah, that's how to play sus2 chords.